Hello and welcome to Radical Catholic. I'm your host, Shoeless Joe, and today we are talking about Lent. Lent is almost upon us, and that means Catholics everywhere are thinking, what should I give up this year? But did you know that there's a lot more to Lent than just giving up something and not eating meat on Fridays? Which is something you should already be doing anyway. As Catholics during Lent, we are called to do three things. Penance, prayer, and almsgiving. Penance is where that sacrifice comes in. It's the thing that we offer up to God that we go without. Prayer is obvious. We need to pray more. We need to connect with God. And almsgiving means giving money to people who need it. We do these things for 40-ish days before Easter because Jesus spent 40 days in the desert fasting and praying. The funny thing is a lot of us just give something up and just kind of see if we can do it without really praying to God any more than we already do. Or more than we already don't. If you are not praying to God, what is really the point of sacrificing something for him? That's like telling a friend, hey, I'm going to give you a present every single day for 40 days. And then you just drive by their house and chuck a piece of candy at their door and keep driving without ever talking to them. Is that friend really going to think that this is really strengthening our relationship? No, they're probably going to think, wow, you have no idea what a friendship is. So as far as penance goes, you probably already know that you should give something up. Choose something to sacrifice for 40 days. But how do you choose what to do? I think the strongest sacrifice is something that might be holding you back from God. Often it might be a time waster or something that you're just kind of obsessed or fixated on. Like for a lot of people, social media is something they give up. They might give up Facebook or Twitter because it just takes a lot of their time and they become so wrapped up in that world that they don't spend that much time trying to connect with God. For me, it's YouTube. This year I'm giving up watching YouTube videos because though a lot of the videos I watch are informational and really helpful to me, I spend a lot of time doing that and then I just lose track of what's really important. Or for some people it might be food, if they're just like really focused on eating a lot, maybe they have a problem with gluttony and they overeat. Or maybe you find that you're caught up in a habit that is actually sinful, like getting drunk all the time, abusing your sexuality, or stealing. Whatever it is, the thing you give up for Lent should be something that's holding you back, keeping you from God, or keeping you from being the best version of yourself. And now once you've got what you're giving up, it's time to move on to prayer. Everyone's on a different part of their journey in their prayer life. Maybe you don't pray every day. Maybe you do pray every day, but you could pray more. Lent is a great time to say, okay, every day for at least these 40 days, I'm going to get up 10 minutes earlier in the morning and pray. You could read scripture, say a decade of the rosary, just talk to God about your dreams, your desires, your fears, your hopes. Without a relationship with God, without that holy connection, what's the point of any of this frivolous stuff here on earth? What's the point of giving things up or going to Mass or any of those things? It is pivotal that we connect with God every day, and Lent is a great time to build that habit. It's so important that we do this, but you have to do it in a fixed, measurable way. You can't just say, well, I'm going to pray more this Lent. That's like as good as saying, I'm going to be nicer this Lent. Because guess what? When Lent comes and goes, you'll have just forgotten. It's important when you build a new habit to really write down specific goals. When you're going to do it, how you're going to do it. So maybe you say, every morning I'm going to pray for five minutes before I go to work or school or play. Or maybe it's right before bed and you say, okay, before I fall asleep at night, I'm going to say a decade of the rosary. I'm going to read a verse of scripture, something. And then I suggest you take a physical reminder and put it there. Put it by your bed or in your car if you're going to pray on the way to work or school. Maybe it's your rosary or your Bible. Or it can just be a sticky note saying, don't forget to pray. And then once you've figured out what you're going to give up and how you're going to pray more, it's time to focus on almsgiving. Now, in today's day and age, giving money can just feel so empty. Like, you're just like, oh, I'll throw ten more bucks in the collection plate. When really it's important that we connect with the sacrifice of almsgiving. So I suggest giving something up that you would spend that money on. It can't even connect to your actual Lenten sacrifice. So let's say you buy a pop every day at work or school and you want to give that up as your Lenten sacrifice. You can then take that money and donate it to a good cause. Or you could skip a meal maybe once a week, say on Friday. Instead of eating lunch today, I'm going to take that money and donate it to charity. That way you're not only giving your alms, but you're also connecting with it and kind of making a sacrifice so that you can give to someone in need. So that's it for my Lenten tips this year. Give up something that's keeping you from being your best version. Increase your prayer life, or if you don't have one, start one. 
And when giving alms, connect it with something that you can sacrifice. As for me, like I said, I'm giving up watching YouTube videos. I'm also going to daily mass as my prayer. And as a family, we're going to find something that we all like to do, and we're going to give that up and then give the money to a good cause. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Leave a comment below as to what you're giving up or if you have any thoughts on Lent this year. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you're not praying, you're straying. We're not gonna sway. We're not gonna stray. We're not gonna pray. Fast this Lent. Pass this Lent. Lost this Lent. Lent, 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 Lent. We're not gonna break Lent. Cause every Pretty good, eh? Say bye-bye. Ah, uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs>